And uh, I can't overstate the impact David had on my life. I mean, like no one. He was the brother from another mother who would come to the house on weekends when I was a little boy and share my room. And he'd sleep in the upper bunk when we slept, which was hardly ever. I'd be in the lower, and he'd smuggle in these transistor radios. Some of you old people might remember that. They, uh, they were these little boxes that weren't connected to the internet. And they played music. 93 KHJ. AM pop radio, and we would listen to that station all night long and sing our butts off uh, between beating each other up in pillow fights, which is a favorite practice of David's. Uh, he was really funny. He was very, very funny, as was my father, and he would tell me hysterical stories of my father, because David was eight and a half years older than me and had more time with our dad. Laughing, singing, beating. That was the night. Not like that, you know. <laughs> I, I just heard a glimmer of going down the wrong road here for a second, so I just thought I'd pull that right back. Uh, oh, now it's funny. Okay, good. Uh, when David ended up on the Partridge family, everything got surreal because I knew my mom was famous. She has an Academy Award in the living room, right? But David is just the guy from the bunk in my room. And suddenly he's like the biggest star in the world. And this was insane. And it scared me. It scared me for him. If we're lucky, our siblings are the only ones we get to take this whole ride with. It's not our parents. And it's not our kids. It's our brothers and sisters. I cherish my two younger brothers, Patrick and Ryan. And there's not a day goes by where I don't think about David. Toward the end of his life, when he was facing so many health challenges, it became increasingly difficult to connect with him. Too many pills, too much alcohol, had taken him away from us. But fortunately, in his last days, David came back to his family. And we were laughing again, and we were singing again. This is a song he used to do with my mom on the Partridge Band. Will there come a day when you and I can say we can finally see each other? Will there come a time we can find the time to reach out for one another? We've been traveling in circles such a long, long time trying to say hello just let it ride, but you're someone that I like to get to know. I'll meet you halfway. That's better than nowhere. There must be some way to get it together. Just might work it out forever. The only time David and I ever worked together as actors was in a Broadway show called Blood Brothers. Yeah. About nine blocks up the street. The final song. It was a powerful anthem we sang with Petula Clark. And it was about all the stuff. It was about life and loss. 
and ultimately acceptance. Kathleen, if you'll cover for Petula, I will do my best to cover for David. Ooh. Tell me it's not true. Say it's just a story. Something on the news. Tell me it's not true. It's here before me. Say it's just a dream. Say it's just a scene from an old movie from years ago. From an old movie with Marilyn. It's not true. 